A while back, I did a video called, uh, I think, Hollywood Stars Don't Understand Their Audience or something along those lines. And uh, two of the subjects that I used for that uh, was uh, Scarlett Johansson and John Boyega. And with John Boyega, it was rather uh, straightforward as uh, I think it was on Twitter where he said, I didn't realize how many people felt that the character of Flynn was disrespected in Last Jedi. Uh, and I thought, yeah, he, he doesn't understand that. They, they were filling his head. That's the only reason they didn't like it is because they're a bunch of bigots or whatnot. Uh, but no, uh, myself included, noticed that, yes, his character uh, was turned into just a silly clown uh, in the second movie. And a lot of it was just repetitive stuff that already dealt with in the first one, that sort of thing. Uh, and, and Scarlett Johansson, uh, and, and, and she's kind of reaffirmed this, and uh, now promoting for the Black Widow, uh, where you know it's it's all this feminist message, and the the people behind the movie are praising it for because it'll pass the Bechdel test, which is one of those examples of uh, fighting sexism by being sexist, and uh, and and she's going on about oh how the character was so sexualized in Iron Man two, and uh, oh I you know come so far since then, and all this sort of thing. Um, uh, it, it, to give some amount of service to the crowd that rejected her completely <laughs> whereas her actual audience uh, enjoys her films or likes her, uh, praises her and all of that and of course it's it, surprise uh, Scarlett Johansson's beauty is a big part of her career and uh, the idea that she, she didn't understand that because she was younger is, uh, I'm not going to buy that. Now, a lot of this is uh, she's still performing. She's performing a role uh, that they, for whatever reason, is the, 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 the environment of Disney, I guess, uh, is what they see as a feminist message. And so, she, you know, she plays the part and, and says all this stuff. And yet, uh, that's playing into the very crowd that tears what she's done down. I mean, they called her a racist because she played an android <laughs> in a movie uh, where she plays a woman who had her brain put inside an android body. And uh, for some reason, people completely uh, missed that part. And uh, I'm talking about Ghost in the Shell, of course, which was actually not bad. It's a pretty fairly decent movie, and she does very well in it and playing... Uh, the, the way she moves in it and stuff this is kind of odd positioning uh, because, well, it's not really her body. <laughs> you know? And um, and then there was her own movie that sh she was uh, going to produce and star in and all that about the, the, the trans man, uh, the, the rub and tug movie about this trans uh, man who uh, ran a prostitution ring out of a, a massage parlor and all this sort of thing. And uh, it was based on a true story and all that. And uh, that was her project. They took it away from her, you know, because she's not really a trans man. <laughs> now she, that had to have really stung, you know, because she was in you know, like, if I'm cast to play a tree, then damn it, I can do it. I'm an actor, you know. Uh, and she was absolutely right, but those aren't the rules in uh, current era. Uh, and uh, so she just had to take a back seat and give up her own project. So. Now here she is uh, preaching this idiot philosophy <laughs> uh, on orders. Uh, I imagine I, if she buys into any of it, uh, I just like, Scarlett, that's your whole career. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with you being pretty and, uh, and nothing wrong uh, for you playing that role because these, these roles, for the most part, that, you've, uh, that have made you uh, very wealthy um, uh, is all a part of the escapism and, and the fantasy and whatnot. Uh, you know, and of, of course, it's just like, and I was, oh, I'm being manipulated because I'm just a dumb man who uh, likes sexy women. And uh, but suddenly that's a crime, apparently. Um, but I'm, I still have my intellect. I'm perfectly aware of that. There's plenty of, of, of films with uh, sexy women in them, but they're, they're not uh, all that great. Uh, whereas the Marvel movies, uh, for the most part, 
deliver escape is adventure and whatnot and having a beautiful woman do it is a, a, a nice plus but it it wasn't the entire thing she actually did give some uh, uh, good performances here uh there was the, the encounter initially between her and the hulk and that at business of where she's playing black widow with this common cool thing but the minute it looked like there was he was gonna hulk out <laughs> all the fear came out you know and that was well done and then there's the between her and loki and all that sort of stuff and she played him as he was playing her and then we later learned that yeah he did get to me but she held her on and all that sort of stuff that was all good stuff um to where now all that's wiped away for uh superficial plot points and whatnot for a message so the worry here is that this is how they're selling it uh now this feeds into idiot access media sites which uh i don't know why anyone thinks those are significant but they, they're the ones who get the first you know photos and trailers and whatnot and clips and that sort of thing so uh you know keeps them relevant to a point but it's always this this is about women and stuff uh, and the actual story of it, uh, plot details or what the story will be about, we don't know. We can see from the trailer that it has some cool looking stunts and that sort of thing. There's also evidence that, yeah, the, what, what's his name? David Harbour will be the butt of the jokes there. Uh, he'll probably get his balls kicked. Stuff like that. <laughs> uh, even though he's playing the Red Guardian, which, uh, is supposed to be a more impressive character than that. But anyway, but, you know, there's a couple of fight scenes. It looks pretty good. Uh, with him so maybe you know he'll get his due but um uh it, it's worrisome that they're, they're pushing this hard because every time it, they do with it some sort of superficial message whether it's sexism or racism or something like that uh, they put that out there uh, as a shield for lackluster plot and what have you and that the movie isn't that great and uh, if you don't like it then you're a sexist so um, one hopes that's not the case, but, uh, you know, uh, every time they push this, it's a bit of a problem. But in the case of Scarlett Johansson, where the people who push that all the time have treated her like crap. And uh, it's just uh, hard to see. I mean, that perhaps that's, you know, you know, give her uh, a benefit of the doubt that sh this is how you navigate those waters and that's what she's doing. There is the aspect of also that, you know, and this happens a lot over people who are uh, sex symbols and whatnot, and then they have children and they start to, well, <laughs> you know, I want to move, uh, move away from it. But um, it, it's a bit much that uh, uh, suddenly she's all against everything she's ever done. Um uh, uh, short of i don't know having some r religious epiphany i'm not really buying that in total um but um it's you know it's a tough thing to see i just hope this doesn't mean that the movie is that bad now the movie is something that should have been done a long time ago if they could have done something on par with winter soldier for her movie that would have been excellent but you know her character's dead we already saw the end of her story which um, wasn't really a great way for her to go out either. Uh, you know, just the more and more you think about Endgame, you realize it really wasn't all that. Um, and uh, it's just one of these terrible things where they were just uh, showing the superficial nature of this, that they're not solid behind these supposed beliefs or philosophies they have that they seemingly want to promote when they shoehorn a character like Captain Marvel. Uh, in their sudden embarrassment that they didn't have uh, a, a female-led superhero movie. When you had a ready-made movie star and female character right there all along, <laughs> didn't do it. So one can hope that it is some uh, cool espionage story on par with uh, Winter Soldier, uh, but uh, they, they can't seem to re replicate that, which seems to be the peak and the absolute best of the Marvel movies. And um, I guess they just can't get back there. I mean, after seeing well, what we've seen in between now, uh, uh, well, we've seen a pretty, in my opinion, bad Spider-Man movie. We've seen uh, some pretty bad D-plus series. I mean, they were really bad, <laughs> especially the second one. And uh, so I don't know. I'm not optimistic now about this. Uh, but they, I got to say, the trailers uh, did look exciting. Um 
a lot more exciting than Suicide Squad, which I thought was, was going to be really great. And so far, I'm, oh, I don't know, kind of worried about that one too. But this is the thing here um, where it, it, it's out of that, you know, Bechtel test and all that nonsense of, um, hey, I'm going to, uh, you know, attack sexism by being sexist. And uh, when uh, superhero movies have a predominantly male audience, there are female fans of this stuff long before any of you uh, uh, programmed them to be so, as, as they apparently think they, they're capable of doing this. <laughs> um, but to, uh, to, to basically trash your audience like that with this type of crap. Uh, and uh, here, look, it's Scarlett Johansson. Now be ashamed of yourself because you liked her. You know, um, it that's stupid, and um, so now there's even more doubt uh, of this movie will be any good, uh, and it's kind of an odd way right right before it comes out to do something like that. Uh, do you want an audience for this thing or not? <laughs> but um, just another uh, aspect of the bizarre. Uh, common era that we live in and we've seen quite a few great franchises uh, destroy themselves and the strongest one left was Marvel and it appears more and more that they're determined to do the same thanks for watching and listening say while you're still here why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends yes also check out my mini stores <laughs> in the link description below yes where you can get t-shirts hats mugs all those goodies with my artwork on them oh yeah and head over to indieplanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book night night <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.